Well, tonight's verse is from John chapter 8, where Jesus says, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Right back at the beginning of the Bible, um, in Genesis, God's first words are recorded, and it says this, And God said, Let there be light. And there was light, and God saw that it was good, and he separated the light from the darkness. And we know how important light is for us. Um, we need it to go about our daily lives when we're out in the countryside on a walk, uh, we can see the beauty of creation. When we're going about our daily tasks, whether it's studying at school or at work, or just relaxing at home, we need the light to help us. And particularly at the moment, as it goes dark, early we get home, we turn the lights on, we put our Christmas lights on, we light a candle, you might have your Christmas lights in the window. But I think Jesus is talking about something different here. He's talking about the light and the dark in our souls. And for many people, they live in a kind of darkness. They're not really sure what life is about. They're uncertain about the future and wonder what their purpose is. Some people struggle with self-esteem or self-worth. And people often wonder what's going to happen when they die. But Jesus says that we no longer have to walk in that darkness because we have the light of life. So if we're followers of Jesus, uh, we no longer have that darkness that surrounds us. And we may be going through what seem like dark times at the moment and struggling with things, or we may in fact be enjoying life and everything is going well. But whatever happens, uh, Jesus is with us and we have the light of life in our souls. And we also have that hope for the future, for we know that when we die, we will go to be with Jesus in heaven. So whatever our circumstances at the moment, whether we're going through a time of difficulty or whether things are going well, we can know that we have the light of life in our souls. So when you get home from work, you switch the lights on, you put your Christmas lights on, just remember that we have the light of life in our souls. So let's pray together. Lord Jesus, I want to thank you that you are the light of the world. I thank you that we no longer walk in darkness because we have the light of life. And whatever our situation, whether it feels like darkness is crowding in around us or whether we're enjoying life at the moment, we thank you that you walk with us, that we have the light of life in our souls and we thank you for that. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So thank you for listening and I want to wish you all a very happy Christmas and I look forward to seeing you at some point in the future.